Hello everyone, Ron Presley here with Catfish Now, and I've got a special guest with me today. Larry Muse is here in the studio coming to us from Corinth, Mississippi, and we've got a, a tournament coming up in Helena. Are you going to be fishing down there, Larry? Oh, yes, sir. I sure am. I'm looking forward to that. Now, I know in the past you have had some good uh, good tournaments down there, so is there anything special about that place? Or just a lot of big fish down there? What is it? Well, it's a time of year we're fishing it, uh, and and this time of year there's a lot of a lot of good fish in that stretch of the river. Let me, let me show you a picture here. Some people have seen this, I'm sure, and you're going to recognize it when you see it. Uh, that Helena is the uh, using your photo there. You see that all right? I can see that. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, that, was there something special about that? I think I, I can hear Dino in the background. Yeah, they. Uh, if um, if twenty twenty was a catfish, that, that's him right there. <laughs> yeah, he was. Uh, he was really lively. Yeah, yeah, he sure was. Uh, I use the uh, Oxygen Edge oxygen system, and that system is uh, pretty mean. Uh, well, I've I've noticed from uh, all the time I've known you just how uh, lively your fish were. So you keep them on oxygen. Uh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. And, I, and I've had that uh, particular system since uh, 2008. I've tried a couple other stones and stuff, but that that's by far the best one that I think is on the market. And it's called the Ox Oxygen Edge. Uh, definitely yeah. doing the job. It is. It is. That ain't the first fish that's ever knocked me down. I had a 54-pound flathead at Clarksville, Tennessee, put my head in the live well for me one time. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. Nobody got a picture of that one, I guess. No, good thing. <laughs> well, you're going to have to live with that now because uh, it yeah. seemed like I even saw I saw a video of that posted, I think, even. But you uh, he was a tough one. But uh, yeah. with Helena coming up, what what's on your mind about going down there and fishing that water? Well, I'm excited about going down there. And one thing is, folks down there already, and they're catching a lot of fish out of those holes where everybody knows where they're at. And, and the hole that I happened to find was a was a, in a spot that maybe won't nobody stumble on it because I kind of stumbled on it when I found it, and uh, uh, maybe maybe it'll stay put and and the fish won't get caught off of it. Well, is it a uh... Is it different than fishing Memphis, say, or is it anything different about the Mississippi River that that you notice? Uh, it's not. It's a little bit, a little bit more uh, easy current down there instead of so much hot current. There's a lot hotter current at Memphis. It starts to slow down a little bit when it gets down there. Uh, the uh, the the feet of fall per mile get less and less as you go down the Mississippi Delta. Once you get down to, say, Vicksburg, man, that's the sweetest current in the world when you get to Vicksburg. But the further down the Mississippi River you go, the sweeter the current is. Sweeter and sweeter as you go. Huh? That's right. Well, you know, when you talk about finding the fish in those holes and people fishing the fish in those holes, how important is pre-fishing to a tournament like that? Well, it, it's pretty important, I guess, uh, unless you got some years behind you. And I'm, I'm bad to fall back on that now i'm a little bit lazy about pre-fishing i i just sort of go where i've caught big fish before but if you hadn't got that luxury then you need to get out there and find you some <laughs> well you know that kind of reminds me of, an, of uh, another question i had a, a tournament like this uh, the cat masters at helena uh, it's likely to draw some new people you got any advice for somebody coming down there new and ain't never seen that river or, or that area well, if you want to learn how to bump in the Mississippi River, that's a good that's a good place to come to because you do got some sweet current to work. You ain't fighting real hot current to start with, and and uh, yeah, that's a really good place. And I guess the best thing that I can tell them is uh, is, is find some current that you're comfortable with, stretch the river, and bump it. Just bump it, man. Well, that's the next thing. Uh that I have heard you describe what that bumping feels like. Could you describe that for us here today? When you're going down a river bumping? Yeah. Uh, when I'm bumping down the river, I like to uh, I like to set my trolling motor. I try not to run. I like to find me some current where I don't have to run my trolling motor over about five, over about 50%. 
because that way your batteries will last just about all day. And uh, and another thing, it don't heat your trouble motor up, and it ain't real hard on it. And uh, and plus, usually if you can find some current that sweet, there's gonna be some fish there. Uh, and and the main thing about bumping is, you know, you try to bump, say a a cut or a ledge or whatever. You uh, don't fight it too bad. Let the let the, let the water kind of carry you, and uh, it'll kind of put you wherever it put the fish. If you know, there ain't no need in fighting it too much. Uh, just kind of go with the flow and try that. And if that don't work, go back up, move over a little bit, and try it again. Where you start is going to determine where you finish in the Mississippi River. You can't hardly manipulate it to start with. If you're you going to go, out, you're going to stay too far out. And if you're too far in, you're going to stay too far in. It's where you start going to determine where you end up. Yeah. Well, I'm going to wish you good luck down there. And uh, why don't we close out today by mentioning some of your sponsors? Who, who's going to be on your side down there in that competition? Well, I hope, uh, I hope Bass Pro and Rig Wrap and uh, – Drip Master and uh, Daiichi Hooks and uh, uh, man, they, they so many anymore. I can't remember all of them, but I sure appreciate all of them. Anybody that's ever helped me a long way, I sure appreciate it. Uh, Dale's Tackle. Um, uh, let's see. Uh, man, I know I'm leaving somebody out that, that I really need to be saying, but anyway. I put, I put you on the spot there. Yeah, i tell you, uh, Sea Arc is a uh, has really been good to me over the years. I'm not on their pro staff per se, anything like that, but they have, they have sure been good to me. Uh, I would like to uh, uh, plug uh, Barnes Marine here at home up at Counts, yeah. Tennessee, and and Hunley Marine over in uh, North Carolina. They're getting started up with Sea Arc, and they are, uh, they they are some good folks. I've been digging with them a little bit, and. Uh, they the ones put me in the notion of wanting a, wanting a new dynasty. So if they, oh, could me, they could sell one to anybody. I saw where you were going to get that new dynasty. Now, what was the name of that one in South Carolina again? It's a uh, Hunley. 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 Okay, uh -huh. good. I think that'd be good territory down there. Hunley Marine. Yeah. 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 It will be. It will be. All right. Well, I appreciate it a lot, Larry. Thank you for coming on with us. Good luck down there in Helena. And thanks to everyone for watching fish with oh. passion. All right. Thank you, Ron, for all you do.